Welcome back. We're getting more and more reliant on our smartphones, and they do a lot for us. But wouldn't it be great if they could remind us when to put up the garbage, maybe help us report a pothole or tell us where there might be available parking? Those are the kind of ideas that Halifax is looking for. It's running its first ever app contest. And here to tell us more is Donna Davis, Chief Information Officer for the City of Halifax. Thank you for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. So why holding an app contest now? Well, the app contest is actually part of what we're calling an open data initiative. In September last year, Council approved this initiative. Uh, and basically the purpose is for us to start releasing data or information that the municipality uses on a daily basis to run the municipality and to make it available for um, citizens and businesses to use. Okay. And the app contest is actually a way to let people know about the data being available and to give them an opportunity to take that data and maybe make a usable app um, around municipal services. Sure, because nobody would want like a giant document. Absolutely. But if they had an app, for example, one that's been very popular in the global newsroom is one to tell us whether it's time to put out the green cart Absolutely. or the garbage. Everybody just looks at their neighbors and they take a guess. <laughs> and that's not 100% uh, accurate, uh, as, as you <laughs> probably not. found out. <laughs> so that would be really helpful. So, yeah. so where did the idea to come from to try to get app ideas from people? Uh, well, other jurisdictions have gone before us and, and okay. have actually uh, started this open data initiative. So we've been learning from others like Toronto and Vancouver. Um, the app contest is usually part of, of that. Uh, and uh, again, to, to get people engaged, to get citizens engaged, we really want them to understand what the contest is about and to let us know what they really like. Um, so the first part of the contest is, of course, the idea generation or submission part. Mm. Um, and anybody can participate, which is really exciting. So you don't need to be an app developer to participate. Um, you obviously have ideas about things you'd like to know about your city, and we really want to hear from you around those. All right, so it's yeah. time to just brainstorm, just yeah. fantasize about what you'd like to be able to, to have at your fingertips. What sure. kind of ideas have been coming in? Well, it's been fabulous. I checked on the website yesterday. 84 ideas have been submitted really? today. I'm so excited about that. It's absolutely fabulous, yes. The response has been great. So it covers things like uh, you've mentioned about the, the garbage or the solid waste app, mm -hmm. but others are interested in things like uh, development in my neighborhood. You know, what type of development activities okay. going on in my my neighborhood. Uh, voter information, Where's the, uh, where, what are the polling districts when I go to, uh, to vote? Um, um, uh, things like, uh, um, gosh, there's so many, it's hard to, other examples, for example, um, people would like to know about uh, street names. What's the history of street names and where do they come from? Um, so a very wide range of ideas have been submitted, which is really exciting. Wonderful. And, and wonderful that you probably a chance to develop partnerships too with, with key groups in the community too and just yes. you know not only share data but uh, make friends build well, bridges well absolutely that's been the other fantastic thing about this contest is it's really opened up uh, our opportunity as municipal staff to build relationships with citizens out there with uh, developers with uh, development companies it's been really really exciting yes well aside from just getting people's ideas on how to um, you know perhaps create apps I know there are other things going on. It's almost like a little event. So tell us more about what you have planned surrounding this. Yeah, so there's uh, a couple of things coming up. So um, the weekend of September 14th and 15th, there is a hackathon. Okay. Uh, and we're working in partnership uh, with, uh, with Volta on that. So we've, we've, we've gained that relationship through this exercise. Uh, and basically, that's an opportunity for developers to come together uh, in a, a very compressed time and basically work together to build apps and to, to sort of bounce ideas off one another and to use the ideas that have been submitted to date um, and to learn from one another around the app building um, uh, opportunities. So that's being held uh, the weekend of the 14th and the 15th. The actual app contest um, is actually starting on September the 9th and will run until the end of November. So that's the time period within which people can actually um, submit applications. All right, and then when yeah. the ideas come in, how will you determine which ones get made into apps? Uh, well, basically, um, there's going to be a judging, okay. um, and, um, and uh, so there's going to be uh, prizes as well. Oh. Um, there's going to be an opportunity for the public to vote on which app they like best, so there's going to be a People's Choice Award, which is really exciting. Um, and then we're going to have a panel, um, and the panel will decide, uh, based on different categories, what are the best apps, um, and then prizes will be provided for those. Wonderful. Yeah. Contests, exciting. prizes. Yeah, it's all good. Wonderful. All right, to find out more about Apps for Halifax, you can go to the website. It's simply apps4halifax.ca, and there you can submit your ideas or check out what other people are doing as far as apps go. So that's simply uh, all you have to do, apps4halifax.ca, the deadline for getting your idea in.
September 6. All right, let's take a break on the morning news. Perhaps you can take this moment to go and submit your idea. There might be something burning that you've been really eager to, uh, to tell the city. Let's take a little break and we will return in two minutes time to this very red table.